You can watch that game on the March Madness Live app anywhere you are, anywhere you go. Download the March Madness Live app. You can see the stream. You can see the game. And, of course, we'll have it all wrapped up for you on Monday night as our coverage continues from the Final Four here in New Orleans. Just a little bit too much size and power for the kids. He was outstanding. And it's, it's not just him being outstanding. It's, it's their execution and, and their, their schemes to get him the ball at the right spots. It, it, I know it, it looks like he's getting it. It looks like he's getting it with a guy behind him, but it's because they move the ball so well and he seals really well. He was, he was out. And sometimes we did a good job and he hit some good shots. Um, he, he was outstanding. Third row toward the right side, please. Colin, you had a pretty terrific career with Villanova. How do you want Villanova fans to remember you five to ten years from now, now that it's over? Um, just a, as a guy who was going to do anything to help his team, um, whether it was uh, getting guys shots, rebounding, diving on the floor, taking a charge, um, I would have done whatever it took uh, to win games and, and make sure that we were playing Villanova basketball. Next question is going to come from the fourth row on the right side, Mike. Jay, like you said, fully crediting Kansas. Uh, uh, when you look at Ochai getting going early, uh, what are you sort of, what's rolling through the, the computer right now and, and, and then in real time? That was, a, that was really a big key. And it was, um, you know, that's, that's why I want to make sure, I mean, it was our game plan not to let him get it going. And um, we made some mistakes, but it just, just, not being in contact with him, letting him catch and shoot. Um, it was our game plan going in. But they move the ball so well, and he moves so well. You got so well without it. You got to give him. You got to give him a lot of credit. Um, but that's one of the areas. You know, right to start the game. If you go down ten nothing against a team that good, you know you're in trouble. And you got to try to fight back. And you got to believe you can. And we believed we could. But if you look back on it. Going down 10 nothing and letting him get it going at the start, you know, arguably one of the best shooters in the country, that was not the way we planned it. To the center of the room, Zach. Zach Braziller, Deer Post. Jay, it goes without saying, you, you obviously missed Justin a lot. Uh, where do you think you missed him the most? Well, that's that's one of the things, Zach. I, I want to make sure, and I know it's it, it's true, but we were we were ready and we were good enough to win that game. They, they they did a lot of things that that made them win the game. And and all right, so I, I know I have to address Justin not being here, but you know you know maybe the start of the game, just we're, we're not we know what we're doing. When he's in there. We know our start our rotation. Um, you know, at the beginning of the game, when a team gets it going like that on the perimeter, we usually go smaller. You know, we didn't, we, you know, we bring Caleb off the bench. So it's things like that. But you, you got to give them credit in recognizing that and that we didn't have the ability to do that. Like, they didn't just start going inside every time. They, they went at us on the perimeter early. Then they went to McCormick. And, and you give them credit for that. Center of the room, we're using the back left microphone. John Fanta. John Fanta, Big East Digital. Uh, this question is for Jay, Brandon, and Caleb. Um, you guys are, are sitting on the same dais with one of the great Villanova players of all time. Agreed. Can you reflect uh, in this moment? I know that's difficult, but can you guys reflect on, on what he has meant to this program? Let, let's coach to take that first, then Caleb, then Brandon. I'd rather Caleb. Okay, let's Caleb. have Caleb take that first, then Brandon, then coach. Um, I feel as if Colin is, like you just said, a legend, Villanova basketball. He's what Villanova basketball is. And um, even off the court, he's a near and dear brother to me, brother to Brandon, brother to all of us. And um, me coming here, he, he welcomed me with open arms as if I've known him my whole life. And um, just him just – you know, extending his arms out and just always welcoming guys in is just something special about him. Uh, knowing how to talk to each one of the guys and just his leadership is just valuable to us. And um, the things that he taught me while he was here is just something that I'll treasure forever. Brandon. 
like you said, uh, he's one of the greatest Villanova basketball players, but also one of the greatest Villanova people that that, that I, I've, I've ever met. And uh, I'll go to war for for Colin Gillespie any day. Um, uh, it's amazing to have somebody like him um, with you your whole career, and and to see what he's become, and also to see how he's helped me personally, and then the rest of our players uh, who, who who've come in and and who's who's just tried to get better under the leadership of him. Um, he showed us how to play Villanova basketball from day one, and he holds us to the same standard that he holds himself, and and that's all you can ask for as somebody who who embodies the true meaning of Villanova basketball. You can watch that game on the March Madness Live app. Anywhere you are, anywhere you go, download the March Madness Live app. You can see the stream. You can see the game. And, of course, we'll have it all wrapped up for you on Monday night as our coverage continues from the Final Four here in New Orleans.